Okay, I'm here at Lesser Hamden with Gardner Spears, manager of Queen's Park. First time I've been in your office here, hey Gardner, I didn't realise you were you weren't in the main event at Hamden. Uh, do you feel slightly resentful that you've been kicked out by the big brother next door? No, not at all. I think if, when you look out the window here you can see the, the fantastic facility we have here at Lesser Hamden. Uh, you know, the all weather pitch and the, the changing facilities. Um, no, we're happy to be here, delighted to be here. Would have thought they could have maybe made a little bit of space for one more office next door at Hamden. Uh, oh, well, I don't know. It's special to go there uh, on match days. Um, we all enjoy that, you know. But the, our work through the week is is mainly based here. Yeah. Just um, on to the football. How, how happy are you with the progress of the club this year? Um, I'm pleased. Uh, as you know, we to build a new team, or virtually a new team. Uh, I think we lost six, um, six. Um, experienced players are, are, I'll say, important players to the club over the last couple of years. We lost them at the start of the season. Um, we brought in, I think, six or seven newcomers. Three we promoted for the under 19s, which um, gives us, you know, special uh, pleasure. Uh, as well as a, a two or three others from, you know, the different levels of football: amateur, juvenile, uh, and junior. Um, so you know they've 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 settled in well. They're, they're good types, um, but you should also mention the the guys who have stayed here um, and been here for a few seasons, um, and and they're they're doing a very important job in in helping us uh, build and, and and improve as a squad. You, you must be by far the youngest squad in the, the SFL. I, I was looking at the average age of your side on Saturday, and it wasn't even quite twenty one. I made it, which is incredible. Um, a well-known pundit once said you don't win anything with kids. Is that a sentiment you go along with? Um, well, I, th I think that well-known pundit was proved wrong that very same season. So, you know, I, I don't think there's um, nothing's as black and, and white as that. Um, obviously, with the with the restrictions that we have here as regards uh, bringing players to the club, um, I think that's a it's a sensible road to go down. Um, in the case of the, the young guys who have come through the youth system, then they understand that bit more of, about what the club's about, about the ethos of the club, um, the standards that are expected at the club. Um, so it, it's of course we would like a wee, a wee bit more experience, um, and if if the right players became available, then then we would look to add them to the squad. But we're uh, we're more than happy with what we have just now. Yeah, it's a massive jump for the young guys coming in from under nineteen setup. Do you feel that they're ready to handle the, the blood and snotters of the, the Scottish second division? Well, they, they, up to now they've, they've shown they are ready. Um, they, you know, a couple of them have have been our, our most uh, consistent performers, are amongst our, our most consistent performers, um, and you know they've shown great temperament to handle the step up. And it is a big step up, as you rightly say. Um, but as to their credit, they've uh, you know they've they've taken to it um, straight away. Must be interesting in the dressing room, uh, particularly on days like Saturday, uh, with such a young squad. Do you feel you get left behind with the banter and maybe the music that's being played in the dressing room? Well, Does certainly the music. Certainly the music. Um, uh, that's you know, it's a constant. Um, what, what, what sort of taste have the guys got? Well, well, I, I don't know what it is. I just, I just, <laughs> I don't hear anybody playing any musical instruments on it, and they, they class it as music. But so uh, sure that's maybe it. that's maybe me being a wee bit, a wee bit uh, old fashioned, but. Um, okay. It's what they like, and and at that time on a Saturday, it's you know that's that's what matters. Yeah, it's up to them. Yeah, seriously though, um, I think some of us have been quite surprised with the resilience shown by your young squad. Is that something you have to instill in them, or is it something that comes naturally? Um, well, I, I think it's 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 you know it's it's, it's to do with the values at, at the club. Um, everybody here is here because they want to be here, um, and there's no there's no any dubiety or question about that. Um, so they love coming and training, they love playing. Um, the fact that you've mentioned that they're such a young squad uh, and their fitness levels are excellent all goes along to, to, to helping us, you know, being so resilient and, and um, you know, there's been a number of games this season when we went behind and, and it's, it's taken, you know, second half, uh, an improvement in our second half performances and it's to their credit that, you know, they have shown that resilience and that never say die attitude and, you know, I think it's, it's a combination of all those things. Yeah. Going back to your playing days, uh, Gardner, you had a, a good spell with St Mirren, and you even came across, uh, you squared up to the likes of Johan Cruyff and Ruth Hullett. 
in a, a UEFA Cup tie with St Mirren against Feyenoord, was that right? That's right, aye, yeah. that's right. What did you learn for those sort of games? <laughs> just how bad a player you are <laughs> you know when you come, come up against um, players like that and, and the fact that it was home and away um, no it, it was a pleasure and, and um, you know it's something that I, I remember fondly um, because I mean, we're no, we respect we're not just talking about great players you, you're talking about in the case of Cruyff especially real world superstars and that's that was a, that was a real highlight for me I bet yeah um, you, you've been involved with some great clubs as well as a manager and you've moved into coaching and management um, spells at Aberdeen, Clyde um, how does Queen's Park compare? Oh, right up there with the very best um, absolutely um, and I know it's easy to say that because because I'm here uh, but you know I, I'd known about um, Queen's Park and, and, and you know and, and everything they stood for and the quality of people who work here and, and the quality of people who are associated with the club, um, and it's a, it's a, it's an absolute pleasure for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to to be in the position I'm in. You've got a happy wee band of supporters as well that follow the spiders around the country. You got a message for them? Hi, thanks, and and keep keep going. Um, the, the, they're excellent. You're right. Um, you know, I think I, I, I said that um, there, was, there was one particularly cold night at Cowdenbeath uh, towards the end of last season. Um, where we went and and I, I think I think the Christmas fixture had been cancelled but this was in the middle of March and it was freezing cold um, and, and I think there was about 50 or 60 Santa Claus there so um, you know the fact that they want to go and support the, the guys and, and, and you know bring that much fun to it yeah. um, the players and, and, and all the staff are, are just annoy them they're, they're, they're fantastic yeah. this weekend um, you're at home tees Fife back mm-hmm. at home at last Yep. Uh, you beat them up there mm-hmm. earlier in the season. Uh, you expecting a tough one this time? Oh, absolutely. I, I think at, uh, at that time, and that was early in the season, um, and these five were, 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 I'm not saying they're not now, but they were regarded as among the favourites to, to, to be at the top of the division. Um, we went there and we, we scored two good goals. Um, might, have had, might have had another one or two, um, but we, you know, we certainly had to show our resilience that day um, in the second half. Uh, so it'll be a tough game. I know that the the results have, have been kind of up and down uh, since then, uh, but they've managed to, to win some games that uh, you know give them the confidence when they come here that, that they can overturn the result. But um, I think there were signs in, in our game last week at Brecon um, that you know we're we're starting to play a bit better. You know we, we've we've ground results out in, in the in the three or four games prior to Brecon, but I felt on Saturday there that the. You know, we passed the ball much better. Uh, as a result of that, we, we made more scoring chances. So that's that's given us encouragement for Saturday. Yeah, Paul Ronald be back. Well, we'll see how how Paul is in training um, on Thursday night. He missed Monday night's uh, training due to work commitments, um, but uh, he's free from suspension again. And you know, as I say, we'll assess him along with the rest of the guys on on Thursday night. How is the fitness levels of Robert Dunn and Richard Sinclair? Uh, unfortunately, both still um, struggling a bit. Uh, it was Robert's hamstring, um, and and he's uh, hasn't hasn't managed any training since then. I think that was about ten days ago. Um, and Richard is um, still having problems with 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 the back muscle injury that he's got. Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, just just finally, your job at Hamden's more than just the football manager. Um, just like to explain to us what else you're involved in? Well, my, my official title is head coach, um, and, and that encompasses um, the youth coaching, the youth players, the youth coaches. Uh, we also have a large community programme here um, with George, George Watson. Um, as uh, He's doing some excellent work in that, uh, and part of my job is to help with that and, and generally promote all the, all the good things about the, the club, and I'm happy to do that.